now we are starting the new syllabus for you people the statistics 19709 is the code paper 5 will be there and now we are going to explain the topics in this topic in this statistics topic 1 which we are going to study total marks is 50 total time 1 hour 15 minutes total number of questions 7 calculator paper but you cannot use the scientific calculator in this and you are going to draw the sketch of the graphs there first topic is data analysis in which we are going to discuss the qualitative and the quantitative data first then discrete and the continuous data then the bar charts horizontal and the vertical both and then with the help of this horizontal and vertical we are going to draw the histogram then we are going to do the stem and leaf box and whisker standard mean mode medians variance standard deviation then assume means the variance and the range in the interquartile range percentiles and decile second chapter we are going to do probability simple probability then rules for addition subtraction multiplication of this probabilities then we will introduce the topic of exclusive and inclusive events and also the independent and dependent events and last we are going to do with the conditional probability based on s1 there <laughs> then the third topic is permutation and combination but before starting this topic permutation and combination we should focus on that if the arrangement is going to matter then it is permutation and if arrangement of the numbers is not going to matter then it is known as to be called combinations there so in this we will do two types one is with the repetition and the other is without repetition and then the third with the restriction of the numbers fourth the binomial distribution a random variable is a discrete random variable in which we are going to do this binomial distribution but remember one thing there there will be only two possibilities one will be the success and one will be the failure so the tot parameters of this topic of binomial distribution is x distribution belongs to the binomial np where n stands for the total number of the objects and p stands for the probability of success where q is equal to 1 minus p is the probability of failure there so the formula for this probability is probability is equal to x is equal to r that means ncr p power r into q power n minus r but later on we can say it that it is ncr p power r 1 minus p into n minus r where r is equal to 0 1 to up till n there so n is the total number of trials and r is the required number of the trials from that part there then geometric distribution this is that kind of distribution in which the first time success will occur so its parameters are x is equal to r is equal to 1 minus p power r minus 1 into p so 1 minus p is basically q so q power r minus 1 into p there so that is the distribution where it is known as to be called geometric progression there where the first time success in any event will occur so then we are going to use this geometric distribution there then normal distribution a normal distribution is a continuous random variable distribution there so it is basically the symmetrical distribution and number 2 the distribution is of bell shaped there there are two parameters one is mu and one is sigma square so mu is known as to be called the mean and sigma square is known as to be called the variance and the standard square root of this variance is known as to be called standard deviation there so 
seventh is discrete random variables. The sum of the probabilities of all the values of discrete random variable is one, which is written as summation of x is equal to x is equal to one. Then we are going to get the mean of that thing, which is denoted by E of x, means the expected value of this mean of this random variable x there. And for that thing is equal to summation of x into probability of x is equal to x is the formula for this mean there. And then the variance of this discrete random variables is denoted by sigma square. And that thing is equal to E of x square minus E of x whole square. So this is known as we call the variance of that discrete random variables. And the square root of the variance is known as to be called standard deviation. So this is our whole syllabus for this statistics one. We will discuss now one by one of this.